selections here at Walsh Community Church. And that is from his, uh, um, it, it is a gold uh, CD uh, to us. Uh, and and uh, I believe you can purchase it uh, via Amazon. And if uh, that's not correct, uh, someone I'm sure <laughs> will, will, will let me know. Yes, you can. Um, uh, and yes, you can. <laughs> and uh, thank you, uh, Baba Ty and Baba Jeff for that rendition. Uh, I'm opening today, uh, and uh, I want to just say I'm, I'm so glad to see that we have 34 people here, and we just started um, four minutes ago, so that's that's wonderful, coming all the way from D.C. We had a brother that went all the way to D.C. and then North Carolina and came back. He was still on the case wherever he went. He was a grand baba, uh, and... Uh, and, but he is still uh, fulfilling his uh, roles and responsibilities as an elder and clerk at a Wolsey Community Church. So uh, we're, we're glad that Baba Tai is on our side. We're glad to see Minister Makalisi. And now um, one of the tenants of Mott is justice. And Justice manifests itself as balance, right order, propriety, harmony uh, in the society. And right now we're going to have Mama Akanke to come and light the candle of justice for us this morning. Mama Akanke, will you come? Ashe, I say this little light of mine 
I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it sister. Shine. Let it shine. <laughs> let it shine. Uh, she... So this morning, um, we're going to light the candle of justice. Um, having this light shine on this person, you'll know who I'm talking about as I just open up. This sister who was the first black woman elected to the United States Congress. This bold sister who was the first black woman to run for the presidential nomination. You know who I'm talking about. This woman that despite threats of assassination persevered through the power of her speeches, her fortitude, her brutal honesty about racism and sexism politics and the state of the country. Light shines bright with her and the light was passed on from her to another sister who is now the elected vice president of this country, Kamala Harris. And what Kamala Harris says about who we're lighting this candle for this morning, our sister, Shirley Chisholm, these are her words. She says that she was unbought and unbossed. So this morning, we light this bright light. Yes that shines in us and through us, for us, forever. So we like this for our Shirley Chisholm. Uh, May her boldness always shine bright for our future generations. Uh, Thanks, what a wonderful uh, person to choose uh, to represent justice. Um, I have a friend who's not an African and uh, he uh, likes to tell me, remind me, he's a little bit older than me, uh, that he voted for Shirley Chisholm for, for, for president and uh, voted for uh, Dick Gregory as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I love to hear the music of this uh, next brother. Uh, I've known him quite a number of years and actually used to go over to his house at six in the morning on a Friday for meditation. And I'm, I'm talking about none other than a brother Damu Sudi Ali. Will you come in and give us some of that uh, music? Music a bubble. And I and I are not looking for no trouble. All right, let's let's hear. <laughs> Good morning, Jose. Good morning, uh, Minister uh, Ho Imhotep, and uh, all of Jose. God bless you, one and all. It's an honor, always is an honor and a privilege to come and give you music. Uh, this was requested by Baba Tai, and so I'll follow up with it because I think it's very appropriate. Uh, so much madness going on in the world. Um, and the creator has a master plan um, because uh, regardless of what Trump and uh, his henchmen uh, decide, uh, the creator will prevail. And uh, that's why a good day is coming. So this is a beautiful song to commemorate that victory. Yep. 
creator has a master plan. Peace and happiness for everyone. The creator makes but one demand happiness. Brother. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh wow. Gosh, uh, nice. Everyone loves that song, right? Everyone can sing along to that song. Hey, give us a give us a couple of more bars of that song, Sudi. We, oh, we're yeah. not finished with it. Let let us have it. Let's have a couple of more. for that I I want to just tell you that the creator does have a master plan uh, a number of years ago another uh, president was talking about intelligent design but they were doing it in the ignorant way there is a master plan for everyone we are actually part of that master plan your your spine is the center of the universe um, and this is what we're getting to now 
Uh, I want to say before we begin, uh, you might want to go. I did not announce this at, at the beginning, and I and I apologize, but we are actually going to have we're going to partake of a beverage, which uh, this is apple juice, I assure you. Um, and um, if you could get a piece of bread, um, some type of bread, because we're going to share at, at the end. So that word, Usharika Ya Ujia, it is Kiswahili. And it means sharing of the way you can you can actually kind of hear it, Usharika. Ya Ujia Ujia is the way. Ya of Usharika, the sharing of the way. It's one of our uh, sacred uh, ceremonies. Um, why do we celebrate it? Uh, first of all, God has given us the right and wisdom to do it. Uh, it is one of our sacred ceremonies, and in practicing it, we practice the seven principles, which are part of the foundation of our theology. And it reminds us of the humanity, glory, and suffering of our great ancestors who were before us. Someone mentioned DNA uh, earlier. Uh, DNA is strong. It carries a spiritual vibration. It carries a light vibration. And you may not know what your great grandmother looked like, but her nose is sitting on your face. You know, your, your mind may not remember, but your body does. And, and this is part of, when we talk about the humanity, glory and suffering of our ancestors, we're talking about something that's epigenetic. Sometimes you may not know why you feel a certain way of vibe, but your body, the chemistry that the creator in his master plan, in, in their master plan, has placed in each of us. Uh, Usharika celebrates and affirms values and ideas that have been passed on to us by our ancestors ordained by God. What is a ritual? It comes from the word rite, which means a celebration or an observant uh, ceremony in which certain set of activities are used for the purpose of perpetuating, reinforcing, and remembering a particular set of beliefs, customs, and practices. Now, there are different kinds of rituals in our community today. There's negative rituals, there's gossiping, there's lying, there's backbiting, there's participating. In, in activities which promote self-hate. We don't have to uh, 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 enumerate them. Uh, ritual of putting our others before ourselves. You know, when you're in a plane uh, and they tell you if, they, if you if the plane is going down and that airbag comes down, put it on yourself first before you put it on your children because you can't help anybody until you help yourself first. And so a lot of times, we put others before ourselves, and that's part of our problem. That's, you know, that's, that's where we get into trouble. The ritual of worshiping a God that is alien to our nature, the ritual of participating in ceremonies that are Eurocentric in nature. I'm not saying you, you can't do it, but you just need to examine uh, where are African people in this when we, uh, when we remember uh, March 17th or uh, when we, you know, all these other, well, there's one coming up, uh, but, you know, I won't, uh, I won't call it, uh, but, uh, and then there are positive rituals uh, coming together on a re regular basis and nurturing each other every Sunday morning. We're, we're actually nurturing each other around the world when we come together like this. When we, when we reach out and we, we, have, we have actually created a platform, uh, it says in the Husea, uh, when the creator uh, in his master plan, he said, I found no place on which to stand. And then he laid the foundation of my, this Zoom, whatever the number it is, 
is a foundation of Mott that we can all stand on, that we can all sustain ourselves. It's a foundation that young brother Marcus coming all the way from Oklahoma is able to join us today and, and you all are able to, to join us today. The ritual of showing love for family, community, nation, race in a, in a world that is hate filled. When we see the police, uh, you know, dressed as, as if uh, they're, they're going to fight somebody in Afghanistan while we were just only talking about peace and stop killing us, we know that we are in a land barren of equality. So the ritual of showing love for family, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes that's the hardest love to show your family. You know, it's, it's easy to go out into the nation and, and show love, you know, but sometimes within your own four walls, that's, that's the most difficult task. So that's why it says unity in the family, community, nation, and race. Uh, the, the fellowship that we have of coming together on Black Knowledge Matters on Wednesday nights and the women of Wose, I, I think it's beautiful that the women of Wose come together every other Wednesday or whatever their schedule is. It's, it's a beautiful thing. I, I love to know about it. I, I, I love that, that the sisters are getting together. The ritual of purification, the ritual of, of pouring libation, the ritual of, of Kwanzaa, which we will be celebrating uh, this December 27th and 30th as a community. Uh, the, the renaming, some of us need to have uh, need to be renamed, and, and, and we have naming ceremonies. We have baby livocations. We don't uh, worship a God that would, uh, uh, you know, forgive a murderer like Moses and a, and a thief like Aaron, but would condemn a little baby that's just come into the world because they're born in the original sin, you know? And so we, we, we worship a God that, that, uh, that uh, uh, puts together these type of uh, uh, observances, baby livication, African-centered marriage. I love, I love participating in those. I love, I love doing that. I love, I love reading the scriptures. And so this, and then we have the ritual of Usharika Yaujia. Uh, rituals are like organs and glands to the human body. That's a quote by uh, Dr. Nathan Hare. Rituals are the means of atonement for reconciling ourselves with our community, nation, and race. That's a quote by Malefi Asante. And so this um, ritual, what is Usharika Yaojia? It's a ceremony for and by African people that's held four times a year. Let's try to do that. We don't, Sister Valeria is, is, is uh, reaching out to us uh, from the other side to remind us that we on the solstice and equinox, those Sundays that are on those days, that's when we practice Usharika Yaojia, the sharing of the way. So uh, tomorrow is the winter solstice. In March, you have the spring equinox. In the summer, uh, June 22nd, uh, you have the summer solstice and then back again. Uh, oh, and then the autumn, uh, uh, autumnal uh, equinox. So uh, these are the times, four times a year that we, that we uh, participate that. We affirm, we recommit, ref we refocus ourselves, our energies, our talents toward the task of restoring, building, and uplifting our people to our traditional greatness. I see that we have, we have 50 people here today, and uh, somebody was asking, um, uh, uh, earlier this month, uh, they 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 had they had wondered. I wonder if we'll have these many people as we had on the anniversary. And uh, being around, I've been around, you know, being around. I know that that many of us, unfortunately, are special event Africans. We only show up if Renoko Rashidi is speaking. We only we only show up if if the if James Smalls is going to be there. We only show up if uh, you know some uh, big time uh, you know uh, rightfully so famous person 
But when it comes to doing the work, many of us at will say we feel ourselves like little red hen. You know, they, we say, who's going to help me do the dough? Who's going to help me cook the, you know, and then the community says, well, you know what? Not I. Not I, Brother Imhotep. Not I, Minister Makalisi. Not I, Sister Ngina, Mama Ngina. So we're, we're, we're about building, restoring, uplifting our people to our traditional greatness. So I'm going to turn it over to Minister Makalisi. Brother and, Minister, uh, may, 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 may I interrupt you for one second? I have not forgotten it, but Baba Tai. We're okay. gonna do it. We're gonna do it afterwards. Yes, sir. All right. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I did make that mistake, but uh, uh, thank you for correcting me. And the, you know what? I appreciate Baba Tai. He he's a person that's that's about cor correctness and preciseness. And and sometimes, uh, yes, clap your hands uh, on that. Yes, that that's that's good. You need somebody to 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 uh, keep you on, on on track. And so, yes, we're not going to um, not have the litany of sacrifice. <laughs> you better you better not leave this one. All right. So uh, we're, we're going to we're going to uh, you, you know what, uh, Baba Tai, Maybe that maybe it would be best to pause right now and do the litany of sacrifice. And then Minister Makalisi, if you could come in uh, after the litany of sacrifice and lead us in the Usharika Yaojia. Mama Ngina. If I may. Yes. Um, for me, shelter in place has revealed the importance of home in a way I never felt before. For me, home is sanctuary, it's family, it's community. It's an expression of who I am if you look around my house and an expression of my love of self. Home is a place to heal and a place to be whole. I'm grateful for my home and we make sure we maintain our homes, we pay the rent. Like Wose, likewise, Wose is your spiritual home. It supplies all of the same critical needs. It is your sanctuary. It is a place for family and community. It is an expression of who we are and your love of self. It is a place to heal. Wose is a place to be whole. Wose is to be defended. Wose is to be loved. Wose is to be supported. And please use the information on the screen to pay your share. Thank you. The Litany of Sacrifice. Save us, O Holy One, by your name. Vindicate us by your might. Hear my prayer, divine protector. Listen to the words of my mouth. How can we repay the Holy One for the gifts that have been given to us. We will lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the God of our ancestors. We will fulfill our vows to our creator in the presence of all our people. Gladly we bring our sacrifices to you. We praise your name, O Amun-Ra, for it is good. Umoja, unity. We shall strive to maintain unity in the family, community, nation, and race. Kuki Jagalia, self-determination. We shall define, name, create, and speak for ourselves. Ujima, collective work and responsibility. We shall build and maintain our communities together. Our brothers and sisters' problems shall be ours to solve together. Ujamaa, cooperative economics. Together we should build and maintain our own businesses and together profit from them. Nia, purpose. We shall make our collective vocation the building and developing of our community and the restoration of our people to our traditional greatness. Kaumba, 
creativity. We should do as much as we can in any way we can to leave our community more beautiful and beneficial than we inherited. Imani, faith, we will believe with all our hearts in our God, our people, and in the righteousness and victory of our struggle. I say, I say, let, let us pray. Heavenly Father, Divine Mother, O Amin Ra, Holy One, the well of each and every heart. First, we'd like to thank you for this precious breath of life this morning. We'd like to thank you for food, shelter, and clothing. We'd like to thank you for peace of mind and calmness of spirit this morning. We'd like to thank you, O oh, Heavenly Father, for this place called Wose. We'd like to thank you for these concepts and ideas, these teachings and these principles that, that connect us with the sacred African ways, connect us with the way of our ancestors. We'd like to thank you for like to thank you for the founder, the co-founders of this organization, the World Zaya, for starting this organization 40 years ago. I'd like to thank you for their vision. I'm in right. We'd like to thank you, dear Lord, for just helping us stay the course and, and uh, working it out. I'd like to thank you for the diligence. I'd like to just thank you, Lord. Oh, Armin Ra, we ask that you on this day of on this day of okay I just say on this day of the uh, of the winter solaces help us to see the connection with the Assyrian drama dear Lord help us oh Lord to to have that um, have that cosmic dance with creation today help us to have that cosmic dance with the ancestors help us to reach back dear Lord help us to reach back over the vast the vast span of of, of time back to Septepe the first time. Help us to reach deep down in that deep reservoir of, of spiritual, ancestral spiritual wisdom to that indigenous African spiritual wisdom and, and bring forth the bring forth the, the attributes that bind the seven principles of the Neguza Saba with the seven principles of the seven principles of Mi'ad with the, the virtues, with the 10 virtues to um, to help us, Lord, to help us resurrect our hearts and our homeland. Help us, oh Lord, say, help us, oh Lord. Help us to, help us to, to, to feel the presence of Haru. Help us to see the vision of the falcon head deity Haru this morning, Lord. Help us to slay the, slay the naysayer within so we can get on the work, uh, get to the work of Nia building and the restoration of our people to our traditional greatness. Help us, O oh, Amin Ra. Help us to help us to be about our father's business, Lord. Help us to, to continue to resurrect our hearts and our homeland. Help us, O oh, Lord. Help us to help us to slay the naysayer within so we can go about the business of Nia, reconstructing our people and and spreading the teachings of our, of Assad, resurrecting our hearts and our homeland, reconstructing the kingdom of Assad is what we're all about. This is my prayer this morning, oh Lord. Help us continue to strive to be one people with one heart, one aim, one destiny. This is my prayer. I say, I say, I say, I say. I say. Wow. I see. Oh, and that was absolutely beautiful. I thank Sister Debbie and Brother Damani, uh, Sister Debbie, for that opening that, that tells us, again, mm -hmm. this is our refuge. This is the place that we come to for rejuvenation, for healing, for knowing who and whose we are. And for that prayer from Brother Damani to just remind us, remind us, of who we are and of this place that we are blessed, blessed to be a part of. We have 
50 people online as of the last count. But I only have about 25 names of contributors to our building fund. I do, however, have some names that I want to add to this week's list. Each week I try and add the new names. So this week from last week, we have Sister Kena, we have Baba Greg, we have Mama Sia, we have Minister Michaelisi who is so generous in his teachings and his love and his giving and all that he does. Uh, we have Brother Nantambu. And I would like to share that Dr. Small, who blessed us on our anniversary Sunday, said that whatever we were going to send to him to add that to the building fund. So that was like $600. So that's a blessing. But that again shows who we are and how the outside world sees us. So my question today is, how do we see ourselves? Because there are some people, again, some regulars who have not contributed. But again, this is our building, it's our space. Um, my computer is not working for me. Baba Jeff has done, put together um, a video for us that um, I, I'm supposed to be able to show from my phone to my computer, but my computer is not acting right. So I can't show it to you, but we're working on it so that you can see the faces of the beautiful children that come. Oh, wow, it's coming, it's coming. So this is our building. This is what it looks like and why we want to make it look better. What you're looking at now is the first day of school where Baba Jahi is walking around pouring libation. This happens after we have had a wonderful meal by Mama Rose, which has more things on it than IHOP. These are pictures of again, the children, the children that come to Ile Omade. These are the faces, teachers of those that are preparing our children for us, for themselves, so that they will truly know who and whose they are. Look at the, they have music, they have art, they have dance and you're going to see this and it's all taught by people that look like us that look like them so that they're very clear this is one of our anniversary um, Sundays the dancing is done by um, a brother that is, is from the continent that teaches our children dance, they learn Spanish, they have a second language. So we are really, truly doing something wonderful at Wose and at Ile Omade. And this building fund is again, that's Brother Malik Basset, to make our building beautiful for these beautiful faces. This is a picture of the alumni. These are graduates who come back for, this is a graduation. This is a, you have to experience this because it is so awesome and so beautiful. This is the pledge they're doing. This is in the city hall chambers of Oakland. Our graduations for four years were held in Oakland city hall chambers. So we are a very special place. We are very special people. And we want this building to look like we are a special people. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Baba Jeff. Thank you for that. <laughs> We've been doing emails back and forth, but I didn't know if it was gonna happen or not, but I am so grateful. And again, this, 
is what we're doing. And I'm just so grateful and thankful. And again, if you have not contributed yet, please do so. We are not um, telling numbers because it's not a competition, but give what you can, do what you can, but please do something, do something. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Beautiful. Mr. Makalisi. Ashe, Ashe, oh. Ashe, oh. Ashe, oh. Umo. Well, I'm giving thanks and praises for this opportunity for us to do the Usharika Ya Ujia to come and spend some time, some energy uh, on, on these principles that is a, a, a vital part of the Wose community, a vital part of our sacred African way, a vital part of the redirection and restoration of our people that we need to be about every day of our lives, 24, 7, 365, uh, uh, so that we can restore ourselves to our traditional greatness, so that we can store ourselves to be the leaders of, our, of ourselves and not allow uh, or submit or surrender to leadership to be imposed upon us by whew, folks who we know don't have the right energy, the right attitude, the right spirit for us. And so as we proceed uh, this day with Ushirika Yaujia, uh, we have uh, seven people who are going to be coming forward to uh, express themselves about uh, uh, each of the principles. They'll be coming forward with a candle representing the principle. They'll be coming forward, and as they come, they'll introduce themselves and where they are located uh, in the U.S. or wherever on the planet that they are located. And so um, as we prepare for, the, for that, we're going to go through uh, me one more time, uh, uh, calling them out by uh, calling out the principle that they represent. And so if everyone is ready, let's get ready, let's roll it. All right, Ashe. Ashe. Umoja. Greetings, I'm Fanya Kamakini from Oakland, California. Umoja, unity, divine creator, strong liberator. I wade in these waters of truth, beauty, goodness, and love in the spirit of Umoja for the sisters and brothers of the Wose community, the sacred African way, and for the unity of African people everywhere on this planet. Help us to always love and respect each other and to always hear your sacred call to do all we can in every way we can to build and maintain Umoja unity in the family, community, nation, and race. These words I raise 
through the power of the Holy Spirit of Ma'at within me. Ashe, Amen Ra, Ashe. Ashe, oh, Ashe. We'll see that uh, Minister Imhotep has lit the black candle as we go forward. Kuji Chaguli Good morning, everyone. My name is Ed Lucas. I'm in Sacramento, California. Divine creator, eternal spirit of truth, beauty, and goodness. I wade in these waters in the spirit of Kujichagalia for the sisters and brothers of the Wose community of the sacred African way and our people all over the earth. Refresh our hearts and souls and stir up our minds with consciousness of the necessity to be diligent in our pursuit of self-determination. If the fulfillments of humanity and divinity are to be known by us in future generations, I pray that our people all over the earth will hear and feel and be awakened by your sacred call to rise up, rise up to define, name, create, and speak for ourselves in all matters under the sun, in the spirit of liberation and salvation, rooted within the Holy Spirit of Maha. I raise these words, Ashe, Amin Ra, Ashe. Ashe, oh, Ashe. Uji ma. Ujima, collective work and responsibility. Divine Creator, Holy Mother, Holy Father, as I wade in these waters, I pray that the spirit of Ujima will flow in a mighty way through the hearts and souls of the sisters and brothers of our sacred African way and through our people everywhere in creation. Let us all grow knowing the power and of the necessity for collective work and responsibility. working together in love to build and maintain our families and communities and working together in love to find the solutions for the problems that life can bring. It is my hope and prayer that the reciprocity message that flows within the river of Maad, that flows from your heart, will lead us to always cultivate and manifest compassion, driven assistance, and support our, for our sisters and brothers everywhere, near and far, and far and wide. Ashe, Ashe. Amen Ra, and Ashe. Ashe, oh, Ashe, Ashe. Ujama. My name is Pamela William. I'm the Commissioner of Economic Planning and Development. I am an open, divine creator, eternal provider. As I wade in these waters, it is my prayer that the spirit of Ujima will continually and increasingly find fertile ground in the hearts and minds, souls and spirits of the people of Wose that such circumstances will strengthen our desire and determination to underwrite, finance, and profit from the programs and institutions we need. Shops, stores, schools, and other businesses. Holy One, help us to grow in knowing economic liberation and the power of cooperative economics. Through the investment of our lives and the resources at our command to achieve the greatest good 
for the greatest numbers, for our greatest of our numbers, to control and strengthen the economics of our communities, to enable every African to live in decent and meaningful poverty-free life. May we as a people grow in know-how and desire to cultivate our collective prosperity. Ashe, Aminra, Ashe. Ashe, Ashe, woo. Me. Greetings, well saying. I'm Bill Johnson here in Jacksonville, Florida. Most Holy One, sacred spirit of Ma'at, I wade in these waters in the spirit of Nia for greater discipline and strength as we continue the mission of answering your call to build families and communities in which we restore ourselves to our traditional greatness. Our traditional greatness manifested by our sacred ancestors. As we move forward in this mission, this purpose, let us continue to grow in opening their books to behold their words, to build upon the knowledge and wise counsel they embody. Let us of Wose and the sacred African way and our contemporaries around the world leave even greater foundations and legacies of truth, beauty, and goodness for our children and for the innumerable future generations. Ashe, Amen Ra, Ashe. I see you. I see you. I see you. Kumba. Greetings, family. I'm Mama Tandiwe from Little Nairobi, East Palo Alto, California. Divine creator, infinite and eternal spark of life within me. I wade in these waters in the spirit of Kuumba, praying that consciousness of your presence within each of us and all of us will serve to empower us to diligently do all that we can in every way we can to make our community more beautiful and beneficial than when we inherited it. Not only we at Wose, but all sisters and brothers throughout the world, African community. I pray that we unceasingly grow in knowing and showing with the presence of your image and essence within us, your eternal spark of life within us, is the power of the creativity required to bring into being the communities and the world of truth, beauty, and goodness that we together envision. Ashe, Amen Ra, Ashe. Ashe, I see you. I'm Connie Bridgeforth Coulter, and I'm Darnisha Wright. And we're, we're both in Elmina, Cape yeah. Coast, Ghana. Divine Creator, Creator Eternal, Eternal Amen Ra, I, I wade, wade in these waters in the spirit of Imani, trusting the teachings of our sacred African way and the teachings of virtually every African spiritual tradition. We thank you for placing us in a creation of endless positive potentials including the ability of African people to live righteously through the divine dynamics of your sacred essence entrusted unto us. In that light, 
�����������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������
So I just wanted to, to mention that, you know, it's, um, it's good to be in tune with nature. Mm -hmm. you, you, you know, uh, a lot of times people are trying to control nature and fight against nature, but we need to get into the rhythms of nature. And when we say that word nature, we're actually saying the word nature. And we're, and we're at the same time saying the principle of, of the divine, the principles of creation. So I, we open it up to you. Uh, say what is ever on your heart and mind that's appropriate for this occasion. And um, uh, you may begin. Yeah, I, I like to share uh, one thing that, that I uh, fairly recently, uh, a couple of years ago, discovered uh, about you know the, the Kwanzaa tradition, or something I want that 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 uh, what am I trying to say? That that had meaning for me relative to the Kwanzaa tradition. And it's about you know the foundation, the, the, not not only the, the principles that that are involved, but but the but the the symbols. And and one the, the foundation symbol is is the umkeka, the, the woven mat. It's, you know, it's it's our, it's our history, it's our it's our heritage, our foundation. But the thing that I found out is that there's a connection to ancient Kemet, in, in, in my understanding, that uh, in ancient Kemet there was, there's a, tr a tradition that recognized and honored a, a, a feminine aspect of the Most High under the name of of Neith. and the goddess, the the, the nature nature uh, uh, Neith, was known to be the one who wove uh, uh, creation in, into into existence through the the sacred loom that that uh, that she possessed, and uh, uh, the, the 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 and those in 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 Kemet or before Kemet, in the in the in northern part of the motherland, there were the the, the forty two gnomes, the forty two communities, was where they were you know forty two different traditions, but. Uh, in those traditions, in, in most of them, the majority of those traditions, they would build uh, shrines for their sacred symbols. And uh, in the shrines, the, the foundation, the flooring for the sacred symbols was a woven mat. Uh, and they would place their symbols there and the people in the communities would come and, and do their rituals and do their, 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 their prayers and, 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 and sacred praises. And uh, when, when, you know, after Kemet became Kemet and the, 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 the science, the technology advanced to the place where you can make everything out of stone almost. Uh, and even when they built shrines and, and they put the flooring in the shrines, uh, they, would, they would go and, and etch a symbol of a, of a woven mat into that stone floor and there place, place uh, the sacred symbols. Uh, and, and so, you know that 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 to me, you know, puts puts a a a, a, a special light on, on what Kwanzaa and Guzo Saba are all about. And and uh, in, in addition to that, just you know that that the creation, even this earth that we stand upon, is is woven into existence, woven into being. Then you know, and we are placed on it. We are sacred beings. We are essence of made in the image and likeness of the Most High. We are sacred beings and we need to we need to see ourselves in that light and be about that kind of business every day of our lives maintaining unity with family and community exercising kuji chagalia all of those principles that those are a sacred callings sacred challenges and we are the sacred beings who must be about carrying them out so that's just a little of what i wanted to share i'll share so i will share <laughs> This is Sister Nikichi from Washington, D.C. All I want to say is that thank you so very much for this wonderful ritual, this Usharika Ya Ujia, okay? Sharing of the way ritual. Ritual is so very important and so very um, a critical for a grounding with respect to principles or in whatever it is that we want to instill within our spirits. In this time period, this time, December 20th, 21st through 24th, this time period, the time period of the, the solstice, uh, the winter solstice is so very spiritual time for instilling within our souls what we want to reap 
during the coming year. And I just want to say that I am blessed to have an Earth Day uh, during the Kwanzaa uh, season, you know, as, as well. So all of this coming together, all of this ritual, all of this uh, connectivity just does just so much for my soul. So I just wanted to say, may I say, uh, Asante, I see. Uh, I see. I see. Uh, greetings, family. I just wanted to reinforce to you what uh, Minister Imhotep has already shared. I wasn't aware of the 6,000 year planetary alignment and it happens to line up with this ceremony with the Sunday service for Wose, uh, with Connie and I uh, both being able to enjoy time here in the motherland. So Wi-Fi connection is terrible. I haven't been able to do much uh, internet research and I don't have access to my telephone encyclopedia minister Imhotep uh, to tell me more about this. But the other thing that he said that was really important was he Uh oh. We lost, um, we lost sister, Mama Darnisha and Mama Connie. Uh, they'll come back as their uh, signal allows. So if there is another, uh, let your voice be heard. Can you guys hear me? Now, now can, we can. Can you hear me? Yeah, if we turn our okay, heads. Let me, quickly say, let me very quickly say, he said that it was a time for those of us who are of like mind, of good intention, for us to join our light minds and our good intentions that, that those and that that goodness is magnified on this day and he even mentioned that particularly being here at the zero latitude and zero line uh kind of the importance of that but having that information i just want to share with all of my brothers and sisters the day is ending here in ghana but it's beginning uh there in the bay area and in the united states so just inviting us to put our good intentions together towards supporting each other, towards being loving to each other, towards supporting each other in all of our endeavors and just being kind people uh, and trying to make this new year a great year for all of us and utilizing this special power that the universe has provided for us this once every 6,000 uh, a year opportunity. That's my piece, love you all and hopefully this Safe travels, Mama Darnisha, Mama Connie. I see. Let me add this. Uh, in, in, in reference to uh, the uh, Kwanzaa CD, uh, earlier only was mentioned that it's available on Amazon, but it's also available through Ubuntu, the uh, service that uh, Mama Darnisha uh, is, is operating. So, uh, you know, we'd rather go that way first of all. Yeah. Uh, and then yeah. let Amazon get at the rear of the line. I see. <laughs> Sure. And just to share with everyone, there's also copies at uh, Ile Omade Wose community that is even closer, which is in Oakland. Okay. Is, there, is, is, there, is there another? Are there yeah, any I, just want, I just want to add that um, at this, this period that I'm going to take this time of Yusharika Ya Ujia, um, the changing of the seasons, the changing of the calendar year, I'm going to put all those together and to make a to recommit to the uh, to the principles of the Nguzo Saba, especially to the principle of Umoja to strive and maintain for unity in the family, community, nation, and race. And so I want I'm going to recommit that everything that I do um, from here on is in an effort to bring unity to the family, to this Wose community, to this nation, and to this race. Uh, and that I recommit to follow the principles of Mott. And I wanna make sure that everything I do, especially in this new year, um, is the right thing. To me, Mott means love and do the right thing. And that's what I'm committing to from this point on. Beautiful, beautiful. I see. Beautiful. Yes. I see, I see, I see. Anyone else? Would like to underscore what Minister Makalisi just said about the mat vis-a-vis -vis stone. We ourselves are not stone. We are spirits having a human experience. So we should understand how truly important and central our intentions, our spirits are. Okay. Sure. Sure. I see. 
I would just like to say, like uh, to say that um, this at this point in time, going into the new year, it's um, we're we're going into the age where we can no longer um, falsify any type of who I say I am, which is when Brother Ty started talking, I was like, yes, you're right on point. Um, because it is, we're going, we're moving into where, where truth is, is magnified. And so uh, we want to, we want, we all should, and I, I'm going to put it on myself as well. Brother Ty did his recommitment. I'm going to do my recommitment as well and making sure that, that, you know, as, as I walk through the whole entire seven days of the week, as I walk through the 52 weeks of, of the year, as I walk through the 365 days of the year that, that I am um, walking in the spirit of Ma'at, that I am uplifting the um, principles of the Nguzo Saba. And um, I was just thinking uh, when Minister um, Imhotep was talking about earlier about Sister Valeria, um, was she always had us on point. Like she was always, okay, this is coming up. This is majorly important. We're going to make sure it's right. You have your part, you have your part. And, um, and I was always Kumba. So um, I'm going to make sure that, that I am uplifting and highlighting uh, Kumba and also um, just making sure that, you know, as we are going through this next year, because, you know, 2020 was eye opening. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. that's that's what I have to say about 2020. Like a lot of people didn't like it, and it was a lot of sadness and things going on. But it was very eye opening. Um, and so, going into 2021, um, I think it's it's good to leave behind a lot of the old things that we know we shouldn't be doing a lot of the old things that we know shouldn't be carried on into 20 and 21. So I was like to give thanks for, for this ritual because, you know, rituals are, are so very important um, as a community to be um, engaged in. And so I think everyone who had a part in making sure this came about, it was a spirit of Sister Valeria came and just was like, nah, y'all got to get it together. You got to get it together. Let's do this. So, you know, um, Ashe to Sister Valeria, we give thanks for, Thank for, uh, for your, your, your light and the way that you just lived and the way that you pushed us forward and the way that you was not accepting of less. She never accepted less. She was like, nope, that's not the way it needs to be done. Let's do it again. <laughs> and so we just give thanks. Uh, and we give thanks through her children as well. And so that's my piece. Thank you. That's you. That's you. Um, I would just like to say that um, the one that, that works for me is um, Umoja. And that is unity. Because um, I'm a Leo. I'm ruled by the heart. I'm a people person and my mother taught me the gift of sharing and of feeding the hungry, clothing the naked and that family was most important, but that family extended to those that needed it. And the saying, too blessed to be stressed, that is truly a saying for me. I think that well, I know that the life we lead individually shows up in blessings for us. And my life has been one of more joy than pain, more life than, than sorrow, even though, you know, some loved ones have gone on. But I truly understand that. I understand that the coming and the going it, that's God's business. That's not our business. We don't have anything to do with that. But what we do while we're here is what we're going to have to take to the Hall of Mati. So I'm trying to make sure that what I take to the Hall of Mati with me is the right thing. I want to, um, I was going to save this to the end for Minister um, Imhotep's prayer, but I, I got a call this morning from Mama Pam Tashaka, 
who says that she's been very sick for the last mm -hmm. couple of weeks. And it's mm -hmm. not the COVID, she says, but she has been extremely sick. Uh, you know, she only has one son and he is brother um, Kojo and he lives in England. He left England and went to Barbados where she's from and says that in England, everything is shut down and that there's a new strain of this COVID. So I just want to remind us to do our part stay in small groups within your home, wear a mask, don't do gatherings. I didn't go with my family for Thanksgiving. I'm not doing it for Christmas. I think I'm gonna just cook something and send it. We really have to stay on top of this. The virus they say is gonna mutate our DNA. It's gonna do different things. And in my opinion, being in the medical field for 40 plus years, this virus has happened way too soon for me. So I'm not interested in your virus because it's too soon. And just to stay aware, stay alert, be on top of this virus because we don't know what it is. We've heard where it came from, but stay on top, stay close, stay alert and aware and just keep blessing. Put Sister Pam on your prayer list I understand that um, Mama um, Thunderway's husband is doing better. Brother, uh, Sister Mary has had her second bout of chemo. And um, so people are doing better that we're not feeling well. So let's just stay prayed up and live mot, speak mot, do mot. Ashe. 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 I would like to say something. Yes, please. I was so, my spirits were so lifted when uh, Baba Menu showed that natural pyramid shape that was in Egypt. I think that was a true uh, gift from uh, Amun Ra to the people. Here it is. This is what you build. That is what I felt. My spirit was just really moved when I saw that. And also I want to say, we cannot be pretenders. We cannot be fakes. We cannot act like we are good when we are creating animosity among ourselves. That is not the way. We have got to face up and say, we're either with God, we're either with Amun Ra, or we're not. Mm -hmm. We should mm -hmm. not be among the people who are trying their best to bring about the righteous way. We should not be among them. Get on out there in the streets with the devil. Mm -hmm. Get from out of Wose. Mm -hmm. Don't come here. If you don't want to be for righteousness, mm -hmm. don't come here and pretend. Mm -hmm. May Amin Rush show us, show up, show us who these people are among us. Don't let us be blind anymore. Let us see the evil that is among us. Please, I want to be righteous in everything I do. And I want to tell you something. You see this? garment I'm wearing, my family and I were looking at videos. My brother had gone around the world. He'd gone to Ghana, Nigeria, uh, uh, Kenya, Ethiopia. And we were sitting there, my brothers and sisters and I, it's five of us, watching the video. And then there was his brother, like a, a vendor, standing by a big, beautiful building with a, uh, earthenware, I suppose that he was supposed to be selling. And we saw this garment that he was wearing. And then we went back to look for it. We couldn't find it. No one had touched the video. No one had moved anything 
we were all sitting back looking at the video. So this is a garment from God. So whatever, I don't know what to mean, none of us do, but my sister and all of us together sat down and described the garment and my sister made the garment. So mm -hmm. I am wearing a gift from God from the motherland. So I'm just saying, you can be taught, you can be told by the Holy One. It just have to pay attention to what happened. All I'm asking, let us all be righteous. Don't be deceitful. Let us work together. Don't be a thorn in the side of Jose. Don't do what's right. And by the planets aligning, aligning now, but the planets are going to have a problem. I think it was about 20 years ago at UCB, I went to an event and they showed you how the earth was deteriorating because of the things that are being done to it. We have got to be truthful. We have got to be honest. We, this is it's no time for pretend and playing. If you want to be with the devil, go ahead and be with him. But if you want to be with God, come with what we say and be righteous. That's all I have to say. I see you. I see you. Say, I see you. Yes, mother. I would like you know, Mother Thurston, Mama Thurston has actually just uh, blessed us with sermon, yes. in my opinion, yes. in my humble opinion. And I thank you for that. And I just want to say that for the 2020 year, we've had a tumultuous year. Um, Oakland has experienced some very trying things, and we still, we're still standing as one. It is my commitment that the mothers, um, sisters and brothers of Wose who have passed on has made some of us, made many of us guardians of the gate. And it is my intention, my, um, my commitment that I will continue to work very diligently to be a guardian of the gate, to safeguard Wose Community Church, Wose and Ile Omade work diligently to ensure that we are consistently unity unified. We see honesty as it stands and we are very clear on our path without disruption. Um, one of the things that minister said a couple of weeks ago in our um, service is that, you know, the enemy is among us. We need to be understanding that they could look just like us. Be careful, beware, be open. But most of all, what Mother Thurston said, be honest, be true, come correct. And if you are not, we should not be afraid to discard. So it would be my intention that if in fact we find that, we, that people that look like us, that try to destroy us, we must be rid of. We must be ready to shed and lovingly shed. So let's be clear about the work ahead of us Stand firm, stand strong, stand unity, stand together in the seven principles of mine. I see. Hello, everybody. Greetings. My name is Mark, and it is my honor to be here with you and among you, and especially to be here to celebrate with Shrika Yaujia as someone who grew up in Wose and has been gone for so long, but still finds these teachings and this wisdom at his core. Um, and what does it really mean to chair, to, to, to spread the word of Wose, to spread the word of the seven principles to someone so that people like me, I'm 35, but I have a nephew, my sister's son, who is five. I don't want my nephew to be as damaged by the things he experienced outside of Wose Community Church as I have been to find myself 35, HIV positive, fresh out of rehab and trying to figure out how I got so far away from the way. It's easy to say that going back along the path of the way would make everybody fine, but it's so easy to lie to yourself, right? To not even know in your actions and what you're doing that you have stepped outside of the way. And especially in, in my generation, it's so quick to cancel people and so quick to chastise them for what they do, but not less, not hear them and learn that they don't know what they're doing wrong either. That they have been taught some things that are horrible because this world has turned into a place that is horrible. 
and they don't know that those actions and those activities are not there, not a true to their spirit, not true to their call. Um, because that, that spirit has in many ways has been lost and it's been lost for me. And I'm someone who grew up in Wosei. So I grew up along in, in these rooms, in this house, um, but the world is not this house. And so for many, it is it's fitting to talk about sharing the way so that people can find the way when they get off of it. I think that's the most, that's what has touched me that at 35, when I was coming out of rehab a month and a half ago, sure that I was, I was ready to let myself die at that point. But when I was coming out to say that authoritative utterance with exceptional insight was what my spirit told me I wanted to give into 2021. 2020 has definitely been the year of perfect vision for me because it's broken and has damaged as I have let the world beat and demean me. I still stand in these truths. I still find these truths and the way is still the way. And I appreciate Minister Mhotep that you said right off the bat, you know, to put yourself first because I have been trying to put all the other things in the world, all the good I could do for the world first in many of my places. And it's not it's anything you can do for anyone else. If you're holes, if you have holes where you try to put water, if you have holes where you try to put water, it will just siphon through. And I have let it siphon through as I've tried to spill it out onto other people. And I'm finally plugging those holes for myself. So thank you for this and thank you for the way. Thank you for being bastions of the wisdom of our ancestors. Thank you for having inspired in me a light that though it might have been pilot for 20 something years since I left the safeness and the community that has been, we'll say it still is strong and still is there, it's still available to me. It is still a fire burning bright and one that has never gone out, even though I have gone out at times. Thank you, Minister Maclisa. Thank you, Minister Nhota. Thank you, everybody in these rooms for letting me speak and, and bless you, ancestors, and you, those who have led the way for me to be able to find my way to this room. Um, again, it is with true honor that I say Ashe. 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 Thank you for sharing that, Brother Marcus. Thank you. Thank you. All praise to the Most High that you have been able to turn it around you have been able to return to will say i'm praying for you brother i'm praying i'm mama tandy way and i'm looking forward to 2021 um just um last year it's almost been a year that that i was led to will say by uh, mama keisha of east palo alto she invited me to the kwanzaa celebration last year and here i am still here um excited to be here. I've learned a lot within the last year and um, I'm committed and I'm intentional and in, in learning more and um, delving into my art and living my art even more. But I also want to be intentional in 2021 of, um, of introducing we'll say and, and my art to individuals with like minds. Um, Baba Smalls, was that his name from a yeah, couple yes, of years ago? Yes. Yeah, Baba Smalls. Um, he touched me as he touched many of us. And um, the word intentional, I've been using all year for our business, our organization. And we have grown in leaps and bounds by being intentional on, on getting all of our needs met. So um, I would like to be intentional in 2021 of, of finding people um, of like mind to come and join us at Rose. And I think I'm gonna start with, with my 17 year old and, and his friends. And um, I just wanna gather a group of, of our families here and, and let's be intentional in, in finding our people, our people. Um, maybe lost is not the, the proper word, um, but are people that need to know more of who they are and whose they are. So um, that's my 
that's my intention for 2021 is, is to learn more and to live mod and to be intentional in um, introducing people that are interested in, in Wose and, and live in mod. Blessings. I just like to say, um, Oh, yeah, I love this ceremony. I still can't pronounce it. Yushirika Ashagia. Yushirika Ya Ujia. Yushirika Ashagia. Okay. Yeah, that's the reason I joined was a because of the seven principles of the Nagusa Saba just really resonated with my soul deep in my core. You know, and when Dr. Um, Smalls is here, he said, uh, you know, I wrote down some notes. He said that Wose has come closest to any organization mm. that he has seen in reconstructing a spiritual system that could appropriately socialize um, Africans to be free. That was a mm. powerful statement. He, um, he challenged us to package these concepts, principles, and ideas and take them to the uh, sororities and the fraternities on the college campus. I think one thing that people need to know is the opposite of, for example, take Ujamaa, Corporative Economics. What's the opposite? So, you know, to mm. me, the opposite is being so, uh, letting the uh, neoliberal economic system seduce us into being uh, individuals in pursuit of our own self-interest mm -hmm. and competition and rivalry with other individuals in pursuit of their own self-interest. So we got we can not only teach the principle of Uja, of Ujamaa, cooperative economics, but we got to teach the opposite. What's the opposite mm. of a mojo? And mm. Kukajakalia and the opposite of you know all the uh, seven principles, and so I think we just need to you know I can make some tracks. We need to make some get together and make some tracks, and really uh, ha have outreach and try to outreach to our people. And I think people are uh, these principles just resonate with something deep in our spirit, and people are looking for this uh, information. And so I think we need to really uh, package our concepts, our ideas, and. Uh, and really believe in what we're doing and what we're about because there is no other way. We're on the right spiritual, we have blazed a spiritual 40 years, we have blazed a spiritual path. And uh, like you say, it's 80 million, 70 million people out there looking to, to get on this path with us. So uh, I've looked forward to 2021 and, and being about being about the work. I see. I see. I see. I see. Can I just say that? Um, Brother Damani, uh, for us here in Sacramento, has been a uh, powerful fundraiser uh, for a number of years. And then just recently in the last three years. And so we appreciate his, you know, he's not just a talker, he's a doer. And uh, he, he does it with two African organizations today while at the same time holding down a nine to five. Hmm. So we appreciate him. And um, at one point he said that he was thinking about going back to F Virginia where he's from. You know, Brother Damani has a twin brother. <laughs> and he was, and he was, and so we're gonna miss him if he has to, if he has to relocate, but I'm glad that we're connected with the Zoom. And I just want to say, Brother Damani, you know, we've been in the trenches together for a long time. And I appreciate all, you, all the works that you do. I see you. I see you. Now, there's another, or do we want to end our uh, miniature fast? Minister Makalisi, I see also uh, that uh, uh, Sister Michelle is is in the Zoom today, Sister Michelle Cummings. And um, I, I can't see everybody, so I, I just see four people right now on the screen. But I know that, that Sister Michelle is here and she's also a fundraiser with Sister Karen Guilford on, on Saturdays at the African Marketplace at 24th and Florin uh, on Saturdays, first and third Saturdays, and I think there's a special holiday uh, uh, part as well. And so I just want to acknowledge her and, and Sister Karen. They, they do their work quietly. 
They don't make a lot of a lot of noise. Hey, look at me, look at what I'm doing, but I just want to acknowledge their uh, strong contribution to our our movement here in Sacramento. And uh, you know, when we have our elders meeting, they're there. When we have whatever we're doing, they're there, they're working. And all of all of those that have returned to we'll say Marcus, uh, Debbie, um, you know, and if I, uh, you know, I know I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna miss a lot of people, but it's it's good for for those of us that have been here all along, staying, waiting, preparing, foolishly brave, recognizing that you are going to return, and we and we're glad that the fruits of our labor showing that you have returned is, is, is um, I don't know, it's a blessing. I just want to acknowledge that. I see, I see. Hey, this is Sister Debbie. I, I will, um, I feel like since I, I actually expressed my heart, my deepest feelings about what we'll say when I did the litany, how important it is to me in terms of my spiritual home. I, I cannot overemphasize how um, how meaningful it is to, to have this church. And so I'm just really grateful. I um, When I look at the Nguzo Saba, I see seven action items that we need to do on a daily basis. They are all things that require us to put one foot in front of the other. And so I ask myself, as I look at those, like how do you create new habits? You know, like how do you incorporate it in any time you go online to shop or, or do anything at all? And so, you know, that's my, my commitment in 2021 is to um, try to really create some habits that let me express it in any way, shape or form. And then finally, I just really need to Express to Marcus how um, how so many of us did not get it right in the beginning. And so a lot of times when I hear them talk about um, like the early years of Wose, and I think like, uh, I don't even want to think about what I was doing back then. So, you know, like, it's okay. You will, you will, uh, you will be just fine. And we are here for you anytime you need us. And we love you. And we celebrate your success right now today so thank you thank you Ashe. 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 well minister well, if, go, ahead. Yes. go ahead yes all right if we're ready we can uh begin to uh bring our miniature fast to to an end but first we'll just have a, a, a brief comment that you know we've 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 had the Ushirika Yaoji. We've re re reflected on the principles. We've, we've listened to, who my goodness, uh, just some very powerful personal expressions coming from uh, the men and the women that are gathered here. And so it's, you know, fasting is something we do because we, we, we know that the, the spiritual nurture is, is, is more important than the merely the, the, the physical nurture. So we set the physical aside and, and allow the spirit to 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 to, to take priority. That, that 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 healing power that the Most High entrusts unto us by the systems of life that are that are uh, given to us, entrusted unto us, and then the things that we do as we open the books and open our hearts and open our minds to the to the teachings of the way. And so we want to have that done. So now we come to this point where we uh, are going to do some physical nurture. And hopefully, you know, we, we, we're choosing the right things for ourselves. You know, we need to, you know, pay some attention to what it is that we consume. And, and if, it's, if it's healthy for our bodies or if it's just, you know, bad habits <laughs> that we just keep doing because, you know, they've, they've been around with us for, for such a long time. So uh, hopefully you've, you've chosen some, some, some healthy uh, 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 morsels, some healthy foods, healthy bread if it's bread. And I, I've got some, some trail mix here. It's got you know raisins and, and, and cranberries and almonds and walnuts in there and um, so so that's that's my 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 solid and so if we want to start with that 
if you're ready to consume that salad that you that you've chosen, let's do that. Now she. Then along with that, we need the liquid. And uh, again, we're gonna choose, choose that to the best of our knowledge, which is best for us. So I've, I've just chosen water to, to know that uh, we come from that watery, uh, undifferentiated abyss ages ago from the most high came of consciousness of, of its own self and its own capabilities and decided I'm gonna make something out of this. <laughs> And bring creation into being. So I chose the water to know that there's a watery abyss. We're 70% water, are we not? That's what the scientists tell us. And so there's there, there, there are things that we need to discover in ourselves that need to be rearranged, repositioned, uh, redirected uh, in the power of my truth, justice, righteousness, in the power of uh, in Guzo Saba. Uh, self-determination. Um, oh, one, one, one thought about Nguzo, about Kwanzaa. You know, Maulana Kalinga is, you know, given credit being, being the creator of Kwanzaa, and I'm sure he put some beautiful finishing touches on it. But but I understand from some folks who were in the US organization back in the day, they said this came about because a young lady, a girl, whose parents were involved with, with the US organization, she's the one that says, when are we gonna have a holiday that's about us? as a people and everybody's whoop, the eyes flew wide open and started working on that so they worked together to bring the, the concept together and like i say I'm, I'm sure maulana with his intelligence and his research put some some marvelous finishing touches on it but uh, at any rate uh let's consume the beverage that you have chosen that we have chosen and we intend to grow in the spirit of Mat and the power of Nguzo Saba to restore ourselves to our traditional greatness. Let us drink together. So we're going to turn it back to Minister Imhotep to give us the closing prayer and uh, whatever else the spirit leads him to present. Ashe. Ashe. I just want to say that um, in the words of Duke Ellington, Wose community, I love you madly. Mm. And uh, in the words of um, the comedian um, George Wallace, I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Ashe. Heavenly Father, Divine Mother, Divine Indweller of every heart and mind, we, we pray for a healing of body, a healing of mind, a healing of spirit, a healing of soul. We ask that you would send your sin-destroying light in our presence, in our lives, that we may feel your divine touch, that we may be able to see your divine creation, that we may be able to hear the spheres, of the music of the spheres, that we may be able to, to, to feel the vibrations of your essence among, uh, within ourselves, among our people, and with, uh, within all of creation. We thank you for blessing us with this wonderful ritual that we practice today Usharika Ya Ujia, as it has spread out throughout the land, throughout this country, and throughout this world. We pray, dear God, that we continue to be strengthened by Umoja, Kujichagalia, Ujima, Ujama, Nia, Kuumba, Imani, faith, creativity, purpose, cooperative economics collective work and responsibility, self-determination, and unity. Guide and direct our paths. Keep us safe 
from harm. Bless our families. Lead us from the unreal to the real. Lead us from darkness to light and lead us from mortality to immortality. For you are the imperishable one. You are the changeless reality. You are the source of all life. These are another blessings we ask. Let us all say together, Amen. Amen. Ashe. Ashe. Amen. Amen. Ashe. Ashe. Amen. Amen. Ashe. Ashe. Amen. And now, and now, Baba Sudi Ali uh, will uh, give us our closing song, Lift Every Voice and Sing. Go ahead, go ahead, close us out, Minister Makalisi. Give us the... now unto those who are able to keep us from falling. May the memories, may the spirits, may the the the, the genius, the ancestors gone before us in the spirit of Mark, in the power of Septepi, may they remind us always and forever that we are sons and daughters of one God. One God, God, one love, one love, one creation, one, one creation. And let us all call out the name of the Most High that our ancestors have praised and worshipped and celebrated and endeavored to uh, emulate in everything that they've done for countless generations. Let us all say together. Oh, 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 oh. Remember, you are, we I are the most beautiful, beautiful people, people on the face of this earth. Ashi. Ashi. Ashi.